What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the magnification gesture in SwiftUI. So here we've got our oh so fancy UI with this label and uh, if you hold the option on the simulator here, you can actually zoom into this and it's a little tough to actually get to work on the simulator because you got to use this janky option business, but we're going to see if I can actually get it working, but it's basically a pinch to zoom uh, effect there it goes okay so it's a little hard to work on the simulator but uh, i promise it works and uh, we'll take a look at implementing it here there it goes much better now um, and you can scale it up and down we'll hold states and all that good stuff you expect to see out of this so if that sounds good make sure you start by destroying the like button down below for the youtube algorithm hit subscribe if you're into ios that all said let's get into the video all right, let's get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and call this project Scale Me. Make sure your language is set to Swift and both your lifecycle and interface are set to Swift UI. We're gonna go ahead and save the project to our desktop. Feel free to save it wherever you want. And first things first, let me go ahead and close this right panel. We'll go ahead and expand our Xcode window. And we'll also go ahead and stick with a newer or a more interesting simulator, I should say, maybe a 12 Pro Max. And I'll hit resume on the right hand side over here. And boom, there is our preview. So we're going to stick with this label here as a thing we're going to, you know, pinch to zoom in on, uh, otherwise known as magnify. However, I am going to wrap this whole thing inside of a navigation view and a vertical stack just for the sake of uh, attempting to make this look somewhat nice. And I'll also go ahead and give it a navigation title modifier of magnification gesture. And uh, let's go ahead and also bump up the font size here. So I'll make it bold and we'll also say this is a system size of perhaps 32. Uh, let's see, magnify me, we'll change the text there. And let's also finally go ahead and add a little bit of flair to this. We'll maybe add a background color for good measure. So there's our fancy text. We wanna pinch to be able to zoom it in and out. How the heck do we do it? So basically the way you're gonna actually zoom the thing in and out is by using a scale effect. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, actually go ahead and tie this to a gesture. So by default, our scale effect should be, you know, something, right? So we're going to want this to be, uh, you know, a CG float. It's going to be one by default, but this is a thing that we're going to want to actually be modifying. So we actually want to hold the scale as a state property. So we're going to say current scale is going to be a CG float if autocomplete decides to do its job and it's going to be one by default. And down here we can pass this guy in. Now that we have the scale tied to a state property, we want to go ahead and add a gesture here. And I believe it is called a magnification gesture. And now the magnification gesture has a on changed, which gives us a scale factor uh, as a inbound parameter here. And what we can do is pretty simple. We can say current scale is going to equal scale. And this scale is the new one that's coming in, so maybe we can even call it new scale. Now we're also going to want to add the on ended uh, modifier here, which gives us something very similar. And this will basically give us the uh, scale similar to the one up above it. So we'll go ahead and say scale here, that and that. And we'll go ahead and fill this in in a moment, but let's go ahead and give this a run in our preview to actually see what the heck is going on. So we'll hit the little play button. We need the live preview and you can hold the option to try to scale this. So let's go ahead and see if this is going to cooperate. There it goes. Sometimes it's a little tricky to do. There it goes. It's tricky to do this in the preview, but if you uh, hold option, you can see that you're getting the two like little circles indicating two fingers and you can pinch to zoom in and out. So pretty cool. So this, uh, this is how, uh, if you've ever seen like Instagram stories or Snapchat stories where you can pinch to move around and, uh, scale up and down and rotate like stickers and stuff. This is a similar premise to that. I've got a separate video on a rotation gesture so you can combine these to achieve this effect. Now, there is also one more thing we need to fix. 
So we see when it's really large. We try to go and uh, you know scale it to be smaller. Let's see if I can get it to do what I want. All right, you saw that it kind of just jumped. The reason it jumped is because the new scale here is relative to the current scale. So we're going to go ahead and make another state property here called final scale, which is going to be one. Uh, the current scale will start off as zero and our scale effect will be final scale plus the current scale. And down here, what we can go ahead and say is we can say final scale will be scale and current scale will be zero. In other words, we're resetting it. So the next time that we try to scale the you know element, in this case, a label, it's going to update current and add it to final. And once we're done scaling, final will become the sum of those two values. So it doesn't look jumpy in our uh, in our preview or you know on our actual UI at that point. So let's go ahead and hit resume one more time. Let's make sure we don't have any errors. Hopefully we don't, which we don't. Let's go ahead and stop this uh, live preview and uh, I'll actually start it again. Let me just zoom this in a tad. We'll go ahead and hit this and let's try to scale this up and down. So once again, we're gonna hold option here and let's see if I can get this working. All right, it's pretty huge. We'll drop it and then we're gonna try to scale it down. This is like a huge pain to do on a preview device, but there we go. We can start to scale it down a little bit. Ah, I jumped, okay. It's very hard to do in the preview device, but if you run this on an actual uh, physical device, you'll notice when you pinch to zoom in and out, it's very smooth and fluid as you would expect. So the premise once again is to update the current factor uh, this current scale factor and then once you're done you make your final scale factor your you know whatever the ending value is and the current gets reset to be zero so yeah that's uh, that's basically what I wanted to go over in a nutshell this is a magnifying gesture pretty cool to integrate if you want to incorporate pinch to you know scale something in and out in your application perhaps an image would be a good candidate to apply this to pretty important that you hold on to the value in a state property wrapper and you use that in the scale effect modifier here to make sure that uh, you know you can actually see the difference in your event uh, in your UI so that's all I've got for you guys today if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm helps up very very much hit subscribe if you haven't done so already and you're into iOS Swift or Swift UI to stick around and absolutely don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Always love hearing from you guys, video suggestions, ideas. If you just want to say hi, I try to reply within a reasonable amount of time. So let me know down below. So that all said, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.